This video will discuss the solution to question 12, which is a true-false statement that goes as follows. Assuming the parasitic capacitances of all transistors in a CMOS inverter to be negligible, the time propagation low high TPLH of a CMOS inverter loaded by a capacitance CL is inversely proportional to the aspect ratio of the NMOS transistor. And it's important to note that TPLH is the time needed to pull up the output node from zero to VDD over two. So that is this node in the inverter topology. To understand what's the influence of the size of this MOS transistor on this propagation time, it's important to investigate what happens when we pull this output node from low to high. When this inverter is in a low state, the MOS transistor is conducting and the PMOS transistor is closed, so it's in cutoff mode. When we are making the transition from VDD to zero at the input node, the MOS transistor will enter the cutoff region and the PMOS transistor will start to conduct current. And as a result, some current will flow into this load capacitance until the output node here is pulled up to VDD. The magnitude of this current is determined by the aspect ratio of our PMOS transistor. Since the MOS transistor is completely closed off to any current, the aspect ratio of that specific transistor doesn't really have anything to do with this propagation time. And therefore, the statement above has to be false.